Everyone talks about it. Elon Musk loves it, but not many people know how to get it or use it. The well-known cryptocurrency that attracts people from all over the world hides many secrets and fascinating things. You're right, we're talking about the Bitcoin. A few years ago, if you wanted to mine Bitcoin, everything you needed was just a computer connected to the internet. You could get your PC to do its thing during the night, and if you got blessed, you woke up with some Bitcoins in your pocket. Well, this strategy doesn't cut it anymore, since companies are building large Bitcoin farms consisting of thousands of computers mining Bitcoin all day long. Join us as we reveal the top 5 largest Bitcoin mines on Earth. In 2018, Russia opened its largest data center called BitRiver in Graz. The location for this Bitcoin mine was picked very thoughtfully as it has two key factors you need for mining Bitcoin, freezing temperatures and low electricity prices. The average temperature throughout the year in Bratsk is 3 Fahrenheit, which definitely helps to keep cool all of the GPU power needed for the process. BitRiver has roughly 20 Bitcoins come in per day, helping Russia be one of the most powerful countries in Bitcoin mining. The size of it just underlines its hash rate of 38 petahash per second, making the hourly power consumption of this farm around 4,500 kilowatts, costing $120,000 per month. The Russian government is so far not very interested in Bitcoin mining. In fact, it's illegal to pay with Bitcoins there, but BitRiver only provides the needed equipment which makes the business clean. Trespassing into crypto mining farm might not sound like an exciting trip, but not here, since 20,000 mining devices are controlled by a team of engineers 24-7, an armed guard makes regular patrols in the house so uninvited visitors won't stay for too long. Even Genesis mining technologies considered how to optimize productions as much as possible and therefore placed a great importance on their building's location. We've already told you that devices doing the minings can dangerously overheat and that is exactly why its founders decided to move their farms to Bosnia and China, to some of the world's coldest places, Iceland and Canada. I mean, imagine trying to cool those machines in the middle of a desert. Iceland also offers low electricity prices, which the company takes full advantage of when they use more electricity than all of their homes combined, with electric bills running more than a million dollars per month. Authorities of Genesis are trying to convince critics of large-scale electricity consumption using as many renewable resources as possible. However, energy is not the only inconvenience as all of these important and complicated machines make incredible noises that could be compared to a jet engine taken off. Fortunately, the large mining building globally known as Enigma is located in a deserted location near the Kilfak airport so it won't interrupt anyone's afternoon nap. A vast number of computers are guarded continuously by workers, especially after many robberies where technologies for $2 million had disappeared. Bitfury isn't just one of the biggest Bitcoin mining firms but also the oldest one, with its history dating back to 2011 when for 10,000 Bitcoins you could get two fresh pizzas. The company uses several softwares for Bitcoin mining so it's impossible to calculate its hashtag. However, it is undeniable that it is one of the largest farms in the world. All the company's big operations are controlled from Amsterdam's headquarters Bice founder and CEO Valery Valilov, who seems to know his way around. Bitfury has designed seven generations of its own specialized microchips under his leadership, and his net worth was estimated to be more than a billion dollars. Unlike others, this isn't located in one specific country but it has its huge facilities and centers in cities like Tokyo, London, Dubai, or Moscow. In 2020, Bitfury was one of the many companies that donated some of its GPU-based computing power for the coronavirus research. Two of some of the most powerful and successful Bitcoin mining companies in the US, Mega Big Power 
and Gigawatt have one special thing in common. Outside the fact they're both multi-million dollar projects, they were both created by one of the most famous Bitcoin owners, Dave Carlson. The first one mentioned, mega big power was a success that was particularly strong in the great boom of the Bitcoins in 2014. So why not keep going? In 2017, he decided to launch a new venture called Gigawatt, which became one of the biggest Bitcoin mining company this planet has ever seen. The plan of the company was atypical as its goal was to simplify the access to Bitcoins, this time by enabling investors to buy a stake in the company's service. Gigawatt has raised over a million dollars from undisclosed investors to build out the facilities and offered Bitcoins that had raised about $22 million in its opening year. This super mine exerted a ridiculous 30 megawatt hashtag and incorporated just over 1,700 GPUs. It has become not only one of the most powerful companies in North America, but also worldwide. Everything was all suns and rainbows until the news about bankruptcy started spreading. What definitely scared the hell out of its customers, especially after the overpraised founder silently left the company. Two months after the announcement end of this Bitcoin giant, the company was still able to continue up until access and power to the facilities in which Giga Watt operated had been banned. Unsurprisingly, China leads the world's Bitcoin mining and production of video cards for cryptocurrency mining. About 70% of all the mining activities done here and 3% of that is mined in one of China's smallest cities. Mining farm in Dalian, named at its location, is the most profitable farm globally with 4,050 bitcoins mined per month, which is currently about $150 million but might be worth a million more or less in a minute. This city is a special place in the Bitcoin mining industry because its environment, its air quality and conditions are relatively better than in any other Chinese city. Farm owners in China have a big advantage over the rest of the world. What is it, you ask? Well, the Chinese government not only allows mining but also encourages it by reducing the electricity prices for energy hungry farms and delivery of the equipment is cheap or even absolutely free. We can't argue it might be a big help but the company still pays around 1.1 million dollars a month just for electricity. At its best, the company could mine 100 bitcoins a day thanks to its computing powers of 360,000 terahashes. The entrepreneurs, however, found it difficult to sustain, so the real number varies every day. Bitcoin may become a substitute for the classic money in the future, and China undoubtedly wants to be a part of it.